full-time working mother of a baby boy who is almost nine months old. The inspiration behind this series is to provide his caregiver with three different activities that she can do with him every single week whilst I'm working out of the house. These activities have been researched based on things that I believe that Alex needs to practice during this week as he develops specific skills. I'm by no means an expert, I'm just a mom, but I love reading up about all the various things that they are busy learning right now, whether that's physically, mentally, as well as spiritually and emotionally. For this activity, I decided on looking at familiar faces in Alex's life. I've managed to take pictures of family members and close friends and I present these to Alex so that he can look at the pictures and start making connections of the people who are in his life. This has been particularly nice for us because my mom who have just met Alex after he was born uh, due to lockdown has now not been able to see him. Um, so it's a way for us to also just give him a picture to say, hey, you know, this is your Omar who is staying far away and this is a person that he also speaks to on video calls. So I've just taken the pictures, I've also included one of Alex. Um, so sometimes it is quite nice just to have an abstract view of this and say to him, well, this is Alex. Um, and then I've got one of myself as well and hopefully uh, very soon he'll be able to look at this and be able to say mama we're all kind of holding thumbs and <laughs> crossing fingers that that's going to be happening sooner rather than later um, and it's definitely you can see that he's actually starting to interact with the pictures um, some of the people that he sees quite frequently um, during the week he is able to recognize and you can see he's smiling when he looks at them um, so these have been really great as a familiar faces type of routine it helps with language skills um, and I believe that it actually also just helps him with abstracting um, you know something that is more like a two-dimensional picture and then being able to see the person um, it was quite interesting actually showing him a picture of his father and then his father was standing next to the picture and you could see him kind of like going to the picture and then looking at his dad and going like this is a bit confusing um, so I think this is a really nice exercise uh, to get them familiar with the thing that, that there are other things that can represent the real thing as well. It's Mama! That's Mama! Here's Daddy! Daddy! Yes! Yes! Who's this, Alex? One of the ideas of an activity that uh, one of our watchers had given me, so thank you Monique, is that of messy play. Uh, note to self, I really should be recording these before I actually give them to Alex to destroy uh, because right now uh, this is what is left um, of our messy play activity. Um, so yeah, I will talk you through it, but unfortunately I don't have anything to demonstrate um, you know, up front about how I prepared it. Something like this is really great for them in terms of getting their fine motor skills developed as they dig around in uh, the, the different, in the, inside the jelly to, to try and get to the shapes. In addition to that, I think that sensory experience is really key for them right now um, as they develop their various different senses and the sense of touch as well. I got packets of gelatine. Um, I didn't want to use jelly because of the high sugar content within jelly and Alex is very much still 
grabbing handfuls of things and just putting it into his mouth. And I had no idea how much of this he would be ingesting. And hence being able to just get the gelatine worked really well. Um, I then added, just made the gelatine as per normal instructions. But something else I did is I added things like lids and toys and various different other things inside the jelly. The problem that I experienced is that all of these things floated to the top. So when the jelly set, um, you know, everything was just really accessible for him because I really wanted him to squish in, get his fingers dug in to dug these, dig these things out. And only after we did the activity did I see another blog where the person suggests that you do this in layers. And that actually was like one of those, aha, that's what I should have done moments um, in terms of making this. I just used a baking tray. Um, I think a clear dish might be even nicer because then the color will really show up. Um, but yeah, so I added a few drops of color, coloring, uh, food coloring to the jelly just to give it a little bit more of a um, exciting look to it. And uh, yes, you can see what Alex did uh, to this yeah, jello or jelly or gelatine, whatever you want to call it. Attack it with both hands. You're attacking it with both hands. So one of the milestones that they say that babies need to reach during this period of time is being able to reach up and pull themselves up against things. When we started looking around, we realized that the furniture in our house do not really allow for this to happen. And therefore we ended up constructing parallel bars. We got the details of how to construct this from a website where I will post the link below so that you can also follow this along if you're wanting to. We then went off to a hardware store, bought a whole bunch of PVC piping and Neil then put those together for Alex so that Alex has got a mechanism for himself to pull himself up against. Safety precaution, Alex is still very wobbly around the knees, so we do make sure that we are behind him and holding below his shoulders, or at least just have that as a security so that in case he does start getting very wobbly, that we are able to have him there. We're also doing this for very short periods of time right now, uh, just for him to actually get that feeling of pulling up and actually holding on to something while he is standing as well, as we really do not want to rush him into walking before he hasn't crawled. Yes, look at you. Look at you. You're holding on nicely. Holding on nicely. seen from the previous video clip that the PVC piping ended up being a little bit tall for Alex because the aim is to have the horizontal bars to be about midway between his underarm and hip 
Um, what I have noticed and what triggered this entire exercise was his original play gym, uh, which he had as a baby, which I'm kind of just showing over here. And what Alex then started doing was to pull himself up on these, um, you know, crossbars, which are on there. So um, the actual pulling up part of this exercise is being shown um, in the next video clip. Um, unfortunately, this isn't very sturdy, so this is definitely not a long-term solution, but at least it is getting him to uh, practice that skill set of pulling up as well. Well, that is it from Alex and I for this week. If you are finding value from this series, please hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified as soon as I post another video just like this one. Have fun with your little ones and be sure to share some of your comments about how you're finding these activities or even the activities that you are doing with your little ones so that we can all learn together. Have a wonderful week.